Hey, how you doing? Ben Broussard with Loga TV here with this week's drilling report. Hope you're doing well out there. Kind of hot, but what's new? All right, let's start off with some prices. Louisiana Light Sweet drops almost four bucks to one hundred one dollars and sixty nine cents a barrel. Henry Hub Natural Gas hovers below the four dollar mark at three dollars and eighty two cents. EIA Hub spot price through the twenty eighth is three dollars and eighty four cents per MMBTU. Okay, kicking things off in the Haynesville, we had zero permits over the last seven days. Two wells to mark market in Bossier Parish for a grand total of 2,377 producing wells in the entirety of the play out of 2,631 drilled. Whew, that's a lot of numbers. JW Operating reports a late July spud in DeSoto's Caspiana, as does Exco Resources in DeSoto's Hollyfield. Pre-production numbers for the Haynesville dropped to 254. Now, as for the rest of the North, CTR spuds in Catahoula's Brickyard Lake, along with Big River Oilfield Services, who set up in the Northwest Bayou Cocodry Field in Concordia Parish. Central Louisiana spoke up in Rapides Parish this week when Houston Energy moped up and spud at Big Island, drilling down to 6,000 400 feet for the week. Up one rig for this week, total in all of the north, 30. Onto the Tuscaloosa Marine Shale, where pre-production numbers drop from 7 to 6 on account of East Feliciana Parish. This when Goodrich's Beach Grove Well posted completion at 672 barrels of production today. TMS pre-production numbers clock in at 6. Moving right along and into South Louisiana land, starting in Evangeline Parish, where Driller's Petrol Harvester spud a new well in Pine Prairie. Move a bit over to the east, Logo members TMR our exploration embarked on a new drilling project in the Fordosh field. Due to drops in Iberville, Terrebonne, Livingston, St. Mary, Vermilion, and West Baton Rouge parishes, South Louisiana dropped six projects to stand at 18 rigs. On to inland water, where Alta Mesa moved in, rigged up, and spud in Weeks Island last week, this in Iberia Parish. St. Mary Parish saw a little action with Gulfport Energy and a spud at West Cote de Blanche Bay, this one on July 27th. Finally, Tri-C Resources spud in St. Charles Parish last week, this one at West Lake Salvador. Inland water settles things out at 18 rigs. Louisiana State Offshore Waters, nothing doing for the week. Finally, after a big bump last week, Outer Continental Shelf Federal Drilling drops two projects to settle out at 53 running deep water drilling projects. As a whole, Louisiana ended out at 119 active projects for the week, dropping five rigs over last report. Now, as for deep water permits, three permits since last report. One for Anadarko at Green Canyon, Block 903. Another for Murphy at Mississippi Canyon, Block 582. Finally, one for BHP Billiton at Atwater Valley, Block 574. Shallow permits, two of those. One for Arena Offshore at Vermilion, Block 342. Finally, one for Gulf Coast Energy Resources at Grand Isle, Block 82. Now back on land, operators logged 35 permits in 19 different parishes. Five in Lincoln Parish for Wild Horse Resources, all in Terryville. By Tall Resources permits in West Baton Rouge Parish. Wilcox Energy permits multiple times in three parishes. No offshore permits for the week. This week's permits went out in Allen, Avoyles, Beauregard, Bossier, Caddo, Catahoula, Claiborne, Concordia, Grant, Jackson, Jeff Davis, LaSalle, Lincoln, Richland, St. James, St. Mary, Vermilion, Webster, and West Baton Rouge parishes. Hey, this is good, but if you want a little more info, be sure and check out the Office of Conservation's website. Hey, thanks for listening to this report and sharing it with the folks you know. Click this button right here to share it on up. For a more pleasurable audio experience of the Drilling Report, download the podcast for your iPhone and iPad. Don't forget to follow Loga for up-to-date news on the oil and gas industry in Louisiana. Until next time, this has been Broussard with Loga TV. Oh,